guys so welcome back to my channel finally after three months or something it's been literally ages since i filmed a video um so that's why i thought i'd start um this video by giving you like a little um life update on what i've been doing over the last three months um first of all you might be able to tell that i'm not in my usual spot um for like filming and stuff so um about a month or two ago, I guess so like uh, two months ago, me and my four other flatmates moved into this lovely new flat. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen our little like moving in video and I actually need to do a part two. Now we're all like moved in and we all have like everything set up. So yeah, um, so number one on why Walter has been so busy is moving into this lovely new flat. Number two, two, on why I've been so busy is the fact that over um, like the last like couple of months over lockdown I was doing um, a research project for uni so that also took up loads of my time and I was doing that at the same time as like moving in here um, so that was so busy um, started back at work started um, volunteering at a charity shop Rich Heart Foundation um, so yeah kind of just been very busy recently but one positive thing that came out of my um busy life um so when i started volunteering at british heart foundation i um started really like getting into like vintage shopping and stuff which is something that i've always been interested in like vintage fashion and stuff but so now i've had more access to it seeing as i volunteer there um that is the start of our video today um my vintage shopping haul so this is like bits that i've collected over like the past like couple of months really um so i've got some like everyday bits i've got some like unreal finds um so i've got sort of all sorts on my little rail over here which you'll be able to see um so yeah uh let's go ahead and get Started. So I thought I'd start off by showing you a few of like the little sort of like accessory type things that I have picked up. Um, so most of this is from charity shops, vintage shops in Edinburgh. But these two little accessories here are from a charity shop that I went to at home with my mum. So first up is this purse. And you can probably see on the front she is a Marc Jacobs purse she's beautiful she says on that this is marked by Marc Jacobs in this sort of like abstract black and white print and um, it's not leather it's that sort of like fake plasticky type thing but I feel like it adds to the vibe it has like these little like um dot sort of things on here which are really cute and it's like massive so you've got like the front bit i always need a big purse because i just have so much like crap to put in it so you've got like the front bit there and then like the inside bit i already have like filled it with all my things like my tesco club card etc because i'm an adult and that's what adults do they have tesco club cards um yeah so this is my first vintage find of the video and this is three pounds fifty three pounds fifty for a mark jacobs purse she's stunning three pounds fifty you would have known it second i think these are such like a and like a proper vintage find um so they are these vintage <laughs> jigsaw sunglasses hello um not that we like not that i need it right now in edinburgh but that's not the point how cute are they i remember my mum was like oh don't get them they're like too scratched and stuff but i was like mum they're iconic um, and they kind of have this like chunky bit here on the side and they're jigsaw ones and I like went online to like see basically like how much these would kind of like cost Um I couldn't really find anything but they cost me three pounds and um, also from the same charity shop as I got my Mark Jacobs purse so I feel like what I find um, and like loads of people have been wearing these sort of like you know like Chanel style vintage sunglasses recently um like the sort of like rectangle ones so i thought that they were a good find i was impressed for three pounds it's all together six pounds fifty for mark jacobs purse and some funny sunglasses unreal Love it. my friends say this as well they, they always say like i've got like such like a 
good eye for bargains. And I really do. It's growing up in the north is what gave me that talent of having a good eye for bargains. Um, literally, I like spot something and I'm like, yeah, I'll have that. That is a steal. Um, like bin diving, I'll do it. Honestly, whatever. Um, this shelf here, my lovely shelf, was, um, I found it for free. Um, on a road near my house and it was like all gross and like you know like that horrible like plasticky wood type of thing so I just painted it white and look how cute she looks she looks stunning now I work at a charity shop as well I feel like has anyone seen on YouTube like that charity shop too and she's always like um she's like, I've got big plans for this place yeah that's me that's how I feel at the moment like I'm definitely charity shop too here we are um so the first item on my reel is this lovely pair of black wide leg jeans um made in turkey so they were literally brand new when i got them at the charity shop that i work at they still had the labels on them and i don't actually know like where they're from it's a place called like reserve denim and it's definitely um like like i think it's like spanish european or something like that it, well technically we're not europe anymore so i can't say that um yeah it had on the label that they were 34 euros no no um and i got them for 8.99 i think which is really good also i forgot to mention in my like life update at the start that uh we're actually i'm actually quarantining right now with the rest of my flat because uh, a few of our friends tested positive for the rona um and then so like we all went got tests in my flat and then my flatmate also tested positive for the rona i tested negative but obviously we're still isolating because we do what boris tells us actually not boris nicola we do what nicola tells us boris can fuck off but nicola we do what she tells us because she's a queen anyway second up is probably one of my favorite vintage purchases actually and it is this um I don't even know where it's from, it just says Edinburgh on it. Some Edinburgh wool, it's stunning. Uh, this white cardigan, and it's so soft and it's really thick, and you can see this little like detailing. Um, the light's gone for me, sorry. This little detailing on the bottom, and it is literally gorgeous. It's 100% cotton as well, and it's so comfy. I wear this like every single day, because like, I'm just inside. I just like put like my pajamas on, and, like I get up put like a new pair of PJs on and then like throw this on top and it just it makes you feel really homely. I don't know why. I feel like cardigans are a proper like home thing. Does anyone agree? I don't know. When I go home I always wear my mum's cardigans. Next up we have this um wool checker print. What is this print? Dog tooth print. Dog tooth print. Um a little knitted tank top with this little frill detail at the bottom. Um, and I think this will be so cute with either like a shirt um, or like, you know, like a turtleneck, um, a high neck, polo neck sort of thing underneath, like a white one or like a black one. You could have like a multicolored one if you don't want to go with like the monochrome aesthetic. But yeah, this is Zara. Um, it's a medium, which is like kind of like big for me, but I quite like the oversized look on this because I think that is so cute with like something underneath it and this has still got the label on it and I paid 4 99 for this um because I am trying to like get more like wintry things at the moment because obviously we're going into winter now not so sunny this is actually one of my favorite vintage purchases and I got this literally like last week I think so this is a lime green velour <laughs> sweatshirt um and i got this from the vintage shop in edinburgh down on grass market called armstrong's and i always think like i never really find anything in there that i want which is really weird um the men's stuff always seems really good so i like went in and i was like just looking at the women's stuff like oh, whatever probably won't find anything and then this i was like lime green velour I was like, I'm just gonna have to get it. It was like 16 quid, I think, which, cause it's a vintage shop. It's kind of a bit more expensive than like your like average track shops. But <laughs> for this, I would have paid a million pounds for this iconic piece of fashion. This is fashion here. I love it. And it's really soft. It's just so stunning. Um, yeah, so that's that. Right, now, this is a find I am proud of. So I got this again from British Heart Foundation. So, um, it is a, let me just take that apart. So we have this 
zebra print tank top here and it's like um it's like wool like uh kind of like fine knitted um i can't remember what it is actually what the components of it is doesn't really say 100 percent cotton so again like good quality um so i found this little tank top i was like hey cute love a bit of zebra pin and then um i was like looking around a bit more and then i found the matching cardigan to it to create this stunning little two piece how cute literally how cute um i think they were like five like maybe like 4.99 each or something so for this like little set it was like a tenner um and it's like from hobbs so again it's good quality hobbs is defo like you know like more of like an older lady vibe but this is gorgeous and who says like we don't who cares if it's an old lady vibe? Not me. I'm not bothered. So next up is actually a more recent purchase. I got this like literally a few days ago as well. Um, and this is from, I think it's from Save the Children. Save the Children. And it is this lovely sheer pale pink sort of like ruched shirt. Um, and this cost me £3. And it is a size 20. Which I don't, it doesn't even look that oversized. But obviously like I love an oversized shirt. Um, and I, at first I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't sold. I was like, I don't really know if this is like the colour for me anymore. But I have this like, um, like a pale green knitted tank, similar to this one. Um, but just like play, plain like pale green knitted one from Boohoo. I thought like this pink under that would look really cute. Um, so yeah that says you'll also notice like loads of things still have um labels on but hey i'm quarantining i can't i can't go out and wear nice things and um, also these pants these flares are also from a charity shop um you can't actually see the bottom but they are flares they're also from a charity shop and i think they were like 2.99 or something and um, they're really cute this was a good find from me if i do say so myself so this is a Dolce and Gabbana tank top with this lovely little chiffon um, rose in the middle. So it is long, but um, when I get round to it, when I've got time, um, I'm gonna crop it. So it's like a little cropped tank top. Um, let me try and demonstrate for you. Look at that, how cute. Um, and then like this kind of falls on so i'm gonna like put a few stitches in there to like bring it up sort of thing but i've literally not had time to do any sewing recently which is upsetting me because i have loads of things to like take in and crop and stuff but yeah um then you can see it's got this little like dolce tag on the side um and then this is also a size 12 um so i'm kind of like i am sizing up quite a lot because normally i'm like a, an eight ish um and this was £6.95 for a Dolce chain on top or steel. I don't, I don't know about you, but I think that's steel. I am sizing up quite a lot, but when it's like little vintage things like this, like how you wear them is like more important than like what size you are, personally. That's my opinion. So next up, I am kind of rushing through these, by the way, because I feel like I've got loads, is this sheer black blouse. And at the moment, I am such a slut for these, like, little neckline things. I think they're gorgeous. I think they're so, like, classy and sophisticated. So we have, like, the chiffon mesh arms here. Then the chiffon little, like, um, ruffled bottom bit. And then this is, like, some weird, like, kind of net. But then this is, like, some weird, like silky like faux silk material i have not actually worn this yet because where do i wear it to because i cannot leave my flat um but yeah she's cute i think it was like 5.99 something like that um i love that and like this is probably giving me like vintage 90s vibes with the see-through mesh 100 percent um oh now now for the showstopper this is the showstopper of them all um we have this let me stand back this vintage max mara kaftan dress right so i showed it to my mom like obviously buzzing i was like mom this is insane um and she was like you look like a moth 
So thoughts, anyone, put it in the comments if you think this is like a moth, but like whatever mom. Um, so yeah, like she's literally gorgeous. Um, and I actually paid £7.50 for this vintage Max Mara dress, um, which I think is stunning. It could actually be like probably like a little bit smaller because it is in a size 10, but beggars can't be choosers. This is definitely like holiday vibe, like caftan, like you're like, um, you've like, your husband's just died in like mysterious circumstances, you take his private jet, you go to Bali, the Maldives, however you want, in your like vintage caftans. A little vintage silk Ted Baker summer dress. And look how beautiful she is. And close up, I don't know if you can see, but she has like, it's like floor but like little like dancing ladies and i just think this pattern is stunning like when i first first bought it i was like oh i don't even know if i like the dress but like the pattern and the fabrics is in like just amazing so i was like oh maybe i'll cut it up and make it into something else but literally i'm never doing that um and i've worn this a few times because i got this one a while ago then you've got like your little like tie back here honestly it's absolutely stunning it cost me like eight pounds um, and I do love Ted Baker, I know it's a bit like, what's the word, like, white girl, basic. Like, it's definitely like something like everyone's mum likes, but I really do like Ted Baker, so who cares about me. Last up is this Paul Costello khaki blazer. And personally, me and khaki, we're not really friends. I don't know, I just don't really like it, it's kind of boring. Um, but we all know that green is my favourite colour, so whatever. Um, so yeah, this Paul Costello oversized blazer, size 14, good oversized size. Um, and I think this also cost me £7.50, and it's such good quality. We've got, like, light shoulder pads, but not, like, insane shoulder pads, do you know what I mean? Like, we don't want, like, we're not taking it too far. Like, we're not in the 80s, but we can get in that 80s vibe, if you get me. We're not Maggie Thatcher, but we're, like still in the power suit time, if you know what I mean. Yeah, love this. I wear it with like some like khaki cargo pants actually, so a little like khaki number all together. Love it. My final purchase, I actually wasn't gonna show you this because it's technically not vintage, but at the same time, like it is like one of like my better buys. Um, so lastly, we have this coach tote bag. I'm really liking my beige at the moment, if you can't tell. I'm trying out the neutrals. Um, so yeah, this coach bag, authentic, literally brand new, and that cost me £38. So it is like, I don't know, it's not like my under £10, like the rest of like my things have been, but I think it's such a steal. Like they go online for like anywhere between like three and £500. So I was like, obviously gonna pick that up. That concludes my rail of things i'm not actually really like into styling and stuff on my youtube channel like you know like putting things on and like giving you like what they actually look like on i've not really done that that much i have done it like in the past with a few of my boohoo hauls and stuff but i've not done that today if that is actually something that you would like to see just like put it in the comments and then i can work on that because hey we're just like we're bringing back the channel I know as well, I did promise you um, a book review on Feminist Don't Wear Pink, which is here, um, for um, part of my book club, which I've actually not followed up on, but that will be coming soon. Um, my flatmate, Kate, who um, has the Rona right now, who is currently in bed, um, she's actually gonna be helping me on that video because she knows a lot more about like current like feminist issues than I do because she has her blog, it's called Elephant in the Womb. I will, um, if you wanna have a look at that before um, this book review, then I will like put that in the description. I do actually have my um, Molly May curl kit, Viewworks curl kit, that I need to review for you guys because I also promised you that I'd do that. So anything else that like, you want me to do, just like put it um, in the comments because I'm always open for new suggestions.
to round off, thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end, which if you didn't, I don't blame you because I just, I witter, I witter so much. Um, <laughs> but oh well um so yeah thanks guys so much for watching hopefully we'll see you very soon for a new video hopefully gonna try and get one done next week using this time in quarantine to get everything done um so yeah honestly let me know anything you want to see and thanks guys so much for watching like and subscribe see you guys very soon